friends, good morning. Welcome back to another Sunday Veed Grenier video. Um, as I've been doing reporting the weather, it is not a beautiful day today. It has been raining about three days straight and uh, we feel a little awful for our guests who uh, wanted to stay with us for three days. But anyways, we are going to go to a new village. It is um, a village called Seymour, Seymour in English. One of our friends who works at uh, the truck who we see frequenting many of the V. Greniers had told us about it. So little insight secret though, insight inside a secret there so we're excited to go um i am wearing everything i thrifted today i really like this cardigan with the cute little buttons on the side there so i'm wearing that because it's only going to be around 65 degrees today and some thrifted carol linen um, trousers so this is my look du jour as always neutral I'll have my lucky vide grenier bag and uh, probably put on those Ralph Lauren and shoes. also I have a lot of new things that you have not seen that I need to post um, for example I went to a vide grenier on Saturday with a girlfriend of mine and I found a few things we visited Tarbes and we found a couple of bits here I'm leaving that there to show you and what else? Oh, you know, I need to get ready for breakfast. So, oh, but here we go. We've got this French antique door handle. <laughs> That's cute. I think it's not adorable. And one last thing, this beautiful brass box with the wood, isn't that beautiful? All right, oh, and this dog, oh, and these frames. So I will share that with you on Etsy very, very, very soon. How we've not known about this village before. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a beautiful walking tour of the village, isn't it? This way. Still seems really expensive to me. Yeah. 
Justin. I'm okay for now. Let's go this way, honey. The milk professional is a little bit better here. Yeah, look how beautiful this village is. <laughs> Such a beautiful village, isn't it? Laffy, sweet peas. See if there's any down here? Yeah.
That's beautiful. So it's not a chateau. It's a church. It's a church, so it looks like a chateau. Look at this square. Oh my goodness. Over here too, Justin. That's a lot. This village is so pretty. those no <laughs> it's for the fireplace hmm? oh the mirror the miroir oh it's plastic Oh wow, look at this village. What are you looking at? Right here is actually beautiful. Thank you. 
No, not old enough. Bon dimanche aussi, merci beaucoup. Merci. Je vais te passer ton everyone a week before we visited Seymour we were in Tarbes running some errands and we came across a brocante where we both fell in love with this beautiful painting as you can see it was a little bit off in some places and I knew in my heart that I was going to take it home and restore it but anyways this is the really cute brocante that we visited and let's get to restoration let me know what you think okay
here and here it seems a little odd and then here's that little line of all the black that I took off I think that was definitely a mistake I'm not sure what the artist was thinking here but if it's here 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 and here that may have been intentional um, still it looks off this could use a little bit more white I'm not afraid to mess it up I'm like it's okay can be much better looking than that okay I'm sure the artist did not mind that I took off the black line you can no longer see it so if you recall there's a black line there I need to go in and take a little bit of white and this color and smudge it just a little bit more I added some white here letting it dry just a little bit before I smudge it with some water so it kind of resembles these little streaks here and for this part, um, I'm still working at just kind of lightly, just kind of softening the edges. So, yeah, I think that looks uh, better. Let me know what you think. I didn't know I was going to restore a painting. I mean, so you can see that that is actually quite beautiful, those strokes. So I don't know what this artist was thinking, but with the black here, I wonder if they just had given up. I wonder what that represents. Let me know what you think. Maybe decay? I'm gonna replicate the vase here. Try to balance that out because I think those two black bits just do not go. You see the difference already? Wow, not too bad, huh? So I started here. So I begin to lighten it. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'm trying to match this color with this one. So you saw the before, it looks much better and in harmony with the tones, the greens, you know, the jewel blue, much better. So it's not as black. Same thing here. This um, is just really off and I'll touch this one up. I'll save this one for last. So as you saw, just to uh, go over it, if you need to, I don't know if you go back, but there's a black streak there. In fact, this one I might need to, let me just try using this brush and just softening it up a little bit. All right, so I've changed it. Um, I've made it look like this area here. Looks like that was another but I'll leave that. I'm not going to change it too much. I'll add a little bit of this color there. What do you think? Much better, right? Look at this little squirrel line. It reminds me of uh, Nessie, a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> it's cute. So again, I, I still want to keep the artist's you know, uh, vision, their abstract vision, but I think that this was a mistake painting. So, you know, when you find things like this, you know, sure, you want to give credit to the artist, but I, I like I said, this was just a, a person who was practicing and, you know, it, it didn't really turn out the way that they wanted it. I would love to try to replicate this sort of design over here. I've begun, as I said, to soften that up a little bit. I'm doing it very deliberately and slowly to make sure that I get it right. But in order to balance out this painting, this needs to kind of match this side. Because when you're putting a bouquet together, that's kind of what you do, right? You balance out the flowers. So, um, yeah, when I look at this, this is, this is the best part right here. That's quite beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, the shape of the vase is quite nice. That reminds me of a hydrangea. That's lovely. So I think those are leaves. Oh, so I wonder if these are supposed to be leaves falling, but still you can't quite capture that in a still life painting. Another area that was black is there. Um, so I've also begun by just softening up the process a little bit. 
Um, again, going slow and deliberately as I figure out what I want to do here. I think with this, in order to balance that out, I would want to kind of bring this area up here, fill that in. Oh, yeah. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. It reminded me too much of a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> so just just added, filled in the little hole area. <laughs> and so, softening up edges. So, right, this is the progress. Oh, that is really bugging me there. That one I can live with, but again, I'm gonna balance that. But that, I'm not sure what to do there. I wonder if I should blend out the background. Uh, I don't know if I can replicate that. It'd be just be too imbalanced because flowers, I think that is the background. What can I do here? Should I just whiten that out a little bit and make it yeah, I think I'll do that. Ooh, wish me luck. We're getting there, guys. Don't freak out. That part is looking much better. I'll add some little white and that part. So I'm just gonna smooth it out, replicate the artist's brush strokes. I'm just getting the colors. I have magenta, um, what color? A uh, kind of a uh, oh, flesh tint color, a hunter green, and then again, I'm just going to blend everything out. Now I'm on to using oils because I need to cover more area. So, yep, here we go. All right, so I'm trying to balance out this side. I have not touched this part with this side. You see that? Well, it's kind of hard because it's drying, but... All right, so that looks a little bit more balanced out. I don't know, what do you guys think? The black part is gone. This still needs some whatever that's gonna be. I think I'm gonna turn this into another flower like that because it reminds me of a hydrangea. This looks like a lily. So I'll turn that into a hydrangea. I need to put this away for now because uh, Justin did not want me to touch this video or he did not want me to touch this painting. Uh, so this will kind of be a surprise, but I think he will like it much better after I'm finished with it. So I'll let this part dry, that bit dry, that bit dry, because I've added a little bit of color to soften it. And then we'll need to add a lot more uh, strokes like that. Maybe I can work on that right now, actually.